What is up, Nermy? I am GameNear5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome to a brand new series. Welcome to the first ever episode of my Pokemon Art Legends of Arceus series. <sighs> I've been meaning to play this for so long, but I was so badly wanting to complete Sword before starting this. Well, I've decided I'm not going to complete Sword. <laughs> I, I've sat on this game for so long, and I really, really, really badly want to play it. So, I'm finally going to start it. Today, we will begin our Arceus adventure. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go. Because uh, if you remember Sword, I'm not that good at this, uh, at Pokemon games. So. This could be, this is probably going to be very interesting. And any of you that are good Pokemon players, well, you're going to probably laugh at me. So, um, yeah. Uh, what do we do? Oh, just press A. Got it. Hmm. Okay, so that we're having pretty much a conversation with Arceus right now. That I'm not really going to speak. I, I will say just quickly, if I'm not saying everything today, well, uh, my, my throat is still very sore. So, uh, yeah, I think now we're going to create, yeah, create our character. So, uh, yeah, my throat is still very, uh, very, uh, sore. <laughs> uh, if you remember, uh, yesterday's video, uh, Kirby, um, I had a cough. I still have a little bit of a cough. It's not that bad, but I still have a cough. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna go girl. I'm not, I'm no girl. Uh, I don't know why it sounded like that, but, um, um, honestly, I'm going between these two, and honestly, I'm going to go with this one. Don't know why, but I'm going to go with this one. That was easy. What is thy name? <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Now, in the past, I've gone with Gamer. I think I'm going to do something. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. Uh, where's Caps Lock? There we go. This time I'm gonna go with Pigeon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna go with Pigeon, but I'm gonna go with Pigeon. Yep. That works. That works. Let's go. Pigeon. <laughs> that is a little weird. <laughs> Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to see uh okay our case really talks weird does don't it a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call pokemon mm-hmm mm-hmm pigeon that's gonna take some getting used to sneak out all seek out all pokemon and thou shalt find me once more okay Oh, then that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Are we now going to? Okay, there we go. There's us. There is well me. I'm smoking in midair. Oh, there's a phone. Oh, okay. That phone's going away. Another uh, uh, flashes of light. Seems bad. Or not. Uh, now there's. Is that. Is that Arceus? I would think. I would think that's probably it. But I don't, I don't know. I, I, I haven't really followed this game. I didn't even know this was the opening of it. So. I've seen people play the opening part, but, I, well, some parts of the opening part. There we go. Pokemon Legends of Ar Legends of Arceus. And I added the of. 
Okay. This should be fun. Wake up. Okay, I'll wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, okay, we have three Pokemon. Are you alive, my boy? Uh, I think so. Hi! Hi there! <laughs> huh. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky. Like that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that seems about right. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Unharmed. <laughs> I, I don't know how it would be because we fell from the sky. Um, let's ask him who are who he is. I'd like to ask you the same. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand. Come on. Come now. Y y who in the world does that? That's a very fair point. Who does fall from the sky? Well, other than, other than flying Pokemon, it. but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have a an acquaintance here in, uh, huh? In these parts, <laughs> there we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> uh, I would doubt it. I'm just gonna be honest. Nah. I see. You seem to be a be in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yeah. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh. Nope. Nowhere. So you don't n know anyone here. Nope. And you don't even know where to spend the night. That is correct. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Yes, yes it is. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Let's go with this one, somehow. Don't want to be like, no, no. <laughs> I'm certain I'll die. <laughs> I see, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fish splash! <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that. <laughs> oh my, I, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when uh, you tumbled out of the sky. Well, well, that's handy. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Yeah, that'd be... Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? A uh, little tiny creature. Yeah, might as well say that. <laughs> My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Uh, yep. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Yep. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Pigeon. <laughs> that is so going to take some getting used to. I'm so used to it being gamer for me, and now, now it's Pigeon. <laughs> that name has quite the ring to it. Yes, yes, it does. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Uh, no, no meaning. <laughs> no, no meat. Well, other than the fact that it's just what I use for every gaming thing now. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. Ah, so this professor of this game. Got it. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Ah. Yes, Pokemon such as... Where are you going? Oh, blasted bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run for me again? Maybe they don't like you. That's a little rude, but maybe. 
I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. I will help. Kind of had. Wait, you three! <laughs> okay, let's go catch them. Let's go catch them. What's in this? Is it nothing in here. <laughs> it's just a random cabin. Let's uh, let's go uh, help uh, the professor um, catch up, catch some Pokemon. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, game. I did notice. Is this our phone? That it definitely got um that yeah, that yeah. you found something that resembles a phone. Hey, gee, thanks. <laughs> it's probably your phone. Oh, gee, <laughs> but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon the this arc phone and that by mission seek out all Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Let's go help him. Now that we have our phone on us. <laughs> okay, they're gonna be over here, I guess. Sigh, alas, yet another miss. <sighs> Aha! I'm glad you've come to rescue to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. Bye. <laughs> I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs at, at the, their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. Ah, gee, I couldn't tell. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. That might be nice. Now, that one is Rowlet, okay? Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using a sharp feather. It's a sharp feathers. There, that sounds better. Why did I do that again? <laughs> that one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it, it is surprised or irate. Okay. Whew. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> that the Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Yeah, I think I said that probably. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh, you look so cute. Blish Blast! <laughs> oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to how to go about catching Pokemon. Ah, gee, I would think that'd be handy. Here you are, my, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Thank you. You obtained 50 Pokeballs! Well then, that's a lot of Pokeballs. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by, by hand if you gather the necessary materials. That's good to know. Uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. Yes, many times. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. 
comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Okay. Can we... Can we continue? I know we just met, but I'm afraid I've... I have no one else to turn to. Yeah, yeah, other than me, the person that fell from this guy. Got it. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. <laughs> okay, okay. Got it. Though far be it. Uh, what? Uh, uh, from me to stay so... Uh, uh, ay, ay, ay. I suppose, uh, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. <laughs> okay, <laughs> didn't understand that one bit. <laughs> Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, game. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your Target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay. Where's the fire guy? <laughs> Where's Cyndaquil? That's the one I want <laughs> for the one I catch. That was a good, that was a good toss. Caught it. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. I certainly have. It seems you've, you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Pigeon. Thank you. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Yes, yes it is. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Yep. Still, this is most unusual. You don't s seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Nope. Okay. Where are the other two? I hit him in the head. Perfect. That's two out of three. I can hardly believe it, Pigeon. Incredible. Thank you. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Sherpish. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I'll do whatever you said. Where is this other guy? Up here, I think. Right? Ah, there he is. I see him. Perfect hit! I broke. Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Yeah. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Okay. Take that! There we go. All three caught. All three have been caught. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. Huh. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. Mm. But I must say, Pigeon, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. Thank you. How is it that you catch Pokemon so alive when you've only just arrived here? I don't know. One can't help but think there's a reason you appear here and now. Maybe. Seek out all Pokemon. Huh. That ob object is an art phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Probably. 
If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. Okay. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first complete record of its Pokemon. Oh, well, that's funny that we met. <coughs> we in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Hmm. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research. Good containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. Yep. And therein lies the rub in... Uh, 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 <laughs> that there lies the rub, I'm afraid. <laughs> Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Oh, huh. well then. Enter you a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Yeah, actually. Come now, what, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Sure. You've convinced me. <laughs> Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Thank you. We've a po we've a Pokedex to complete. Okay. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then onward to. Follow me then onward to Jube Life, Jube Life Village. I did probably say that properly. What? That did come out wrong. <laughs> We've already gone for 23 minutes. Man! <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for most of that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I feel like I have been. Hmm. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive me. My bringing him into the village for a bit. Okay. Well, they seem to be okay with it. I don't know if everyone else will be okay with it, but they're they're okay with it. Wow. Yeah, they all dress quite different to what we dress. I'm gonna say that. This way, if you please. Okay. Jubilee Life Village, it's come a long way thanks to whatever he, This road we're on now is known as to the blah blah blah. blah. Well, I'm not gonna bother. This village was built scar scarcely two, uh, two years ago. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> if you guys want to pause it and read it, you guys can. Now that impressive building up ahead is the Galaxy Hall. Cool. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Yeah, that would help. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower, the, the wallflower it's called. Okay. Okay. The arc, your arc phone is beeping. Thank you, game. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, that's handy. Uh, ah, the map. Use the minus button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. 
You also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Try and to spot one of these markers, then head for it. In an unfamiliar land, head to the head to the wallflower, which serves uh the vill serves as the village canteen. Okay. He doesn't like me. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Thank you. <laughs> The wallflower, wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh, and a person. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. Huh, thanks. I feel like that's something I'm going to be getting a lot. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mince meat in those flimsy clothes. Thanks! If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. Hmm! He's from a faraway place too! His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though it makes me a bit worried for him. Yeah, that would be a little bit worrisome, wouldn't it? I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. Hmm. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take and had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he's, he'll last. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it my mildly. Ah, professor! <laughs> Out of nowhere! But everything will be quite all right now. Okay. Pigeon, here. As uh, has a pigeon here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Well, she does not approve. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the survey corps? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I don't think he's happy. You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Oh. Captain Celine! Oh, okay. Assuming the individual can contribute to the sur survey corps, that is. Yeah, uh, I would say I am. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Okay. Okay. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slept it. His control. Yep. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their wonders uh, of their skills or origins tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy jeez oh uh, most reasonable decision captain yeah, yeah. now would you care to join us for a meal I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor yeah that's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
Loaf. As always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and have some pleasant conversation then, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can. Betty, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Okay. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much, uh, much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. <coughs> <coughs> Professor Lamenton, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know, of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift, our new friend fell right out of it. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> You can't be serious. No, no, he's serious. <laughs> he's serious. I fell right out of it. I guess. Come now, I'm I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself with only the fact, only with facts. Now you already n know there are many Pokemon here, here in the Hishui region. I probably did not say that properly. That there are in the grass, in the in forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Thanks! <laughs> it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Pigeon will come in. He su successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we could finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. <laughs> yep. I caught three as well. To be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach were on attack. On the attack. <coughs> but the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Mm, now Benny has chimed in. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. To have your your fill pigeon, and think if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. That's handy. The team pr provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell, fell out of the sky. That'd be nice. <coughs> A lot of talking. <clears throat> that was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Pigeon has a trial to pass to join the survey corps, don't you? Yeah. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Pigeon's skills. Oh, that's nice. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Pigeon, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Okay. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you to tomorrow 
You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. That sounds wonderful! Jeez. Captain Celine, somewhat, uh, Celine's somewhat like Hishu uh, in that and they're both quite harsh. Gee, you don't say! Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? Yeah, probably. It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here, I imagine our new friend has. I didn't read that properly. Had enough falling for one day? Yeah. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Okay. Yes, good night. Okay. Okay, bye. -bye. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Yes. Yes, it is. In an unfamiliar land, head to the survey cor corpse quarters you've been assigned. Okay. This is going to be like a safe point or something. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I would have thought. <laughs> Sleep until morning in the fu futon in your quarters. Yeah, uh, quickly before I do that, I'm actually going to call it a day. We've gone for 38 minutes. I think that's good enough. So with that, guys, I'm Game Near 5 from the Near Army team signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video. It'll be Kirby again tomorrow. And uh, this has been fun. So uh, with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm Game Near 5 from the Army team signing off. And good. Bye. Uh